Alright guys, so today we're working on a Yukon. Uh, brake booster is going hard. So we're going to be replacing the vacuum pump, which is the beginning of the failure. Uh, it's just straight line to the brake booster. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the belt off the, the vacuum pump. And to do that, we're going to turn the engine over with a flathead screwdriver on the belt. So that we can spin it and take the belt off. It doesn't have a tensioner. It's just a self tens uh, belt. So that means that she's really hot in there. We're going to take that off. We already took the line off. It has a little red clip on. Take it off. And from the booster itself, you just pull it out. And it has a sensor, which you disconnect. Um, you can see that plastic, this right here, is attached to the pump. And the pump has four bolts. So we're going to be taking this off the pump after the, the belt is off with the four bolts. And then we can maneuver and move it out of the way. So let's do that real quick. You're gonna put a 24 millimeter socket on the crank. You're gonna spin it so we can take the, the belt off. And obviously, you know, we had to make a little bit of space here. All right, let me do that real quick. And again, you're gonna have to pry on the belt when you're turning the engine with a screwdriver. That way you can take the tension off. All right, be right back. Dale, dale ahora. Alright guys, so we got four bolts, we got two, a uh, short one on this side, actually medium one on top I believe, shorter one on the other side, long one on the bottom, can't really mix them, but regardless, that's the extension with the swivel to get the two on the back, the one on the front, you have to loosen up the uh, brackets. And we gotta take it out. All right, so let me take that last bolt out so we can move that out of the way. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so we gotta use a combination of sockets to be able to get it out, but mostly a swivel with the short 13. You can take the top one, the two in the back, and the one on the bottom, it has to be a long 13. You should be able to get it all out and put it back in. So now we're going to put the belt on. Then we're going to put the pipe on and we're going to give it a go. So to put the belt, we're going to do the same same thing how we took it out. Now we're just going to put the belt on top. Uh, hopefully with some zip ties. That way she doesn't fall off. And then we can just spin the engine and she's going to bite back on. So let me do that real quick. Again, uh, I had to take the little bracket that goes here, that holds this um, plastic, and then this little bracket that goes in that hole there, on the pump itself. So we're gonna put this little bracket back on, right here, right there. There's a short 13. No. Oh, see. Yes, yes. It's a on for fire. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm having a hard time trying to figure this thing out now. Mmm, así, 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 así. No, porque mira, ve. Así. There we go. Ahí. Aguántale. ¿Tú estás filmando? Sí. Así, algo, así, no. Ah, guys, so. We're gonna tie that bracket down that is gonna hold the plastic. There we go. 
We're gonna tie that 13 right there, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and put the belt. All right, be right back. Okay. All right, so now we put in the belt. We just put it right on top, and now we're gonna spin the engine over so the belt will catch on. Not it. Not it. Not it. There you go. Dale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's on. Yeah. All right, guys. So now, I'll take my flashlight out. Oh, fuck you. We're going to connect the hose. Try the manguera. Clip on the hose. Put it back to the booster. And let's see what we got. Be right back. Yeah. All right, guys. So... We got everything like now, the belt is on, the uh, hose is back on, the sensor is back on. We're going to give it a shot and see what we got going on. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so the pump is on. Okay, as you guys can see, the new pump is on there. Everything is hooked up. So now I'm going to show you guys the pressure. Drug boosting pressure. Okay, right there. That is... 1392 Abalo, the outer switch. So what you want to do is you want to open up the switch after you shut off the car because it has an auto vacuum. Once it's open, if you see that number drop, if you see that number drop, that means, I mean drastically, that means that the brake booster is bad because it's losing vacuum. Okay. Now when you start it. Um, and you press the brake a few times, it's supposed to drop, but nothing lower than four, four and a half, somewhere in there. Anything lower than that, um, the vacuum pump is bad. In this case, we already have a new vacuum pump, so that's not a scenario, but I will still show you. Arrangalo! So I'm gonna start up the car. That's 12. Presiona la iPad de veces. Okay, so, ya so So when you let go, of it you're supposed to start climbing up back up to to pressure again. But when you press it a few times, it's gonna drop down to like around four. Anything lower than four is by uh, pump. Now we have a good pump, and the pressures go back up, and the pressure is now leaking out, so the brake booster is not needed to be replaced. So there's no leak, there's no leak in the system. That's what that means. Alright guys, hope this helps. Like always, thumbs up, that really helps the channel. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, uh, ready to answer. Um, like always, share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.